welcome to MAM Talks. I'm Kathy. I'm Anna. And I'm Jan. And today we're going to be continuing with... Revisiting. Uh, revisiting. Yes. Okay, revisiting <laughs> pet peeves. Pet peeves. And the because reason, there's so many. Well, and because today uh, something happened to me that is one of my biggest pet peeves, and that is I have to call the plumber because one of the toilets in my house is running. Why the is that a pet running. peeve? Because That's cars, computers, and plumbing should just work. Oh, you're just annoyed that you have to call a plumber, period. Yeah. Nothing about the plumber. Oh, no, no. I love my plumber. He's wonderful. Oh, well, then you should and enjoy you love, calling him. And you love your toilet. So. Toilets do run. That is a pet peeve. Toilets run. I just want them to yes. work all the time. Well, they don't. I know. And that's one of my pet peeves. Well, one of mine that was brought up was, and it sounds really silly, it's slow walkers. I can't help it. I walk, I walk fast. I just do. And it's not that I'm trying to walk fast. That's just my my normal gait. And when we walk somewhere, I'm huffing and puffing <laughs> after her. Every Thanksgiving, my mom and sister and I would take a walk after we ate all that food. And they would talk and walk. And I'm, I'm out to do, do some business here. And I would like walk, walk. And then I'd have to look back. I'm like, now I'm going to have to stop and wait till they catch up. The goals are different. It was so annoying. And yet, <laughs> yesterday, walking with my grandson and granddaughter, I had the granddaughter's hand, so she was keeping up with me, but the grandson was busy looking at something. So I had my hand like on the back of his neck, kind of gently pushing. I was waiting for him she to say, push me. don't push me. Push me. I know. She just pushed me. I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, now, my God. Here's an annoyance. How about people who sneeze or cough and they don't cover their mouth? that that's how they should do it that's how your taught kids are taught like that oh, oh how about that's... people that um use handkerchiefs instead of kleenex <laughs> why is that that is just so it's gross. That's so and here's bad. The thing. we we know somebody who uses handkerchiefs instead of and we love that tissues. person very much we do he is by far one of the most wonderful people in the world but he uses a handkerchief Uses it, puts it back in his pocket, takes it out, looks for a clean spot, <laughs> uses it, puts it back in his pocket. I'm sorry. Okay, and visual. I used to just like really, really. <laughs> and she said that she did. She I verbally did, said that. This wasn't a secret. <laughs> How about when you go to open up your computer and load a page, and it do, the thing just spins Goes and spins and, and spins and because and cars, computers, and toilets <gasps> should just work. They should just work. Mm -hmm. They should just work. Absolutely. I know. What? How about when you're at a restaurant or anywhere and you're drinking your drink out of a straw and the person next to you is <laughs> out of the straw to oh, the very I bottom of the drink. <laughs> Unless I'm oh. drinking my McDonald's Frappuccino and I'm, I just want to get that last little drop and I do that. Okay, and I'll probably get hate mail over this, but... And I, you know I love dogs. Mm -hmm. I love dogs a little bit more than people sometimes. They're oh, for awesome, sure. For oh, sure. I agree. I just don't like them in a restaurant. I just, especially the bigger dogs, because we have a big dog, and she sheds, and that hair is well, everywhere. I, I thought it was only guide dogs that are allowed oh, in no, a restaurant. Oh, no, no. And, and here's the deal. People go onto the Internet, and they get those fake little things, and you're not oh. allowed to ask somebody why they have a service dog or what the problem is. And I know oh. people have them for real reasons, anxiety, you know, things fun. like that, emotional. Mm -hmm. I just don't like them in the restaurants. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't. I'd rather not have them in the market. And there's a lot of dogs now in right. the markets. They're in everywhere. Dogs are accepted everywhere. Yeah. Where were we recently? And I said, I've never seen so many dogs. Oh, this weekend in, in Montrose on Honolulu Avenue, we were having dinner. Oh, I love that place. Every, we were laughing. Every person that walked by us had a dog on a leash. I'm fine with that. It's on the street, whatever. But it was just so funny. I've never seen so many dogs in one small town. And then the, the stores and the restaurants put out their little water bowls for right. the dogs. Yes. yes. It's it's kind of again, cute. disclaimer, I, like I love dogs. I just, certain places I'm not a fan. Yeah, I just don't want them in markets. You know, there's a reason. There's food. How you about know? in markets? Speaking of markets. What? How about... Um, people on their cell phones in markets or any kind of a enclosed area like yeah. that and they're talking away on their cell phone and of course people always talk louder than normal right. so they can hear you and so you're listening to That's their I don't 
want to listen to their conversation. I just don't like it in an elevator or especially in a doctor's office. Just step outside. And then when you get up to the check stand, the 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 clerk. This is this is annoying. She doesn't like it. The clerk. is waiting for the person to give them their credit card or whatever, and they're finishing their conversation. Yeah, it's like you're waiting in line. Okay, um, hello. These two are in a hurry through life. <laughs> okay, here's another one, and I know this does affect people. And there's actually a disorder. <laughs> this is mine. Isn't that serious? Yet. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> the sound of people chewing or eating. Oh, it, oh, that's it, bad. It just it used to bother me. It rates so on me. Yeah. I'm getting mellow in my old age. I guess yeah. so. I yeah, guess so. My daughter, I, I, I watch her sometimes. We're sitting next to somebody who's doing that, and I can just tell she's about <laughs> to just let loose on them. But it, it is annoying. It's, yes, it's, it is. It's more than annoying. It's And yeah. then when they're, when they're chomping and making noise, you see the food in their mouths. That's, like, gross. Yeah. It's the noise that bothers me the most, I don't, though. I don't pay attention, I guess. I guess I guess there's more pet peeves than I thought there was. Oh, I think I guess the, we could the, go we on could continue for days. I can't think of one more. <laughs> All I could think about today was the dumb toilet running and having to call well, the plumber. During the night, that's really annoying. Two in the morning, you hear that noise. Well, you know why it's annoying because I keep getting these letters saying that I'm spending too much water, and I've had <gasps> I've had people come out to check my entire house, but this toilet is just trickling. It's that's like, annoying. ha-ha, I got you. I'm sure that's what it's saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, on that note. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Don't forget to click those share and like buttons. Remember to subscribe to Mam Talks. And our website, www.mamtalks.com. And remember to keep embracing getting older. <laughs>